Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to open Legendary Encounters, a Firefly deck building game from Upper Deck. Uh, this is the Legendary Encounters uh, version of the Legendary system, uh, originally made famous with the uh, Legendary, Legendary Encounters alien deck building game, uh, followed by the Predator version, and now we have Firefly. I have to admit I'm not that big of a fan of Firefly. I've seen a couple of the episodes, and I... I uh, did see Serenity uh, in the theater, but uh, really just didn't didn't care too much about it. Um, didn't dislike it as much. Uh, there were some things in it I didn't care for, but for the most part, uh, it was okay. Um, but we understand it's a good game. Uh, instead of four movies like Alien, you got I think thirteen uh, TV episodes you're gonna play through. Uh, and it makes for a lot of fun. It's got a lot of few twists on it. That's about all I know. But it was on sale recently, so I grabbed a copy. And thought I'd open it up on camera so we can look inside. So let's do that right now. And it's probably not allowed to be a board gamer and so you don't like Firefly all that much. Maybe not a brown coat. Whatever the term is, but I'm not. But I do like legendary encounters, so another shot. Still looking for a legendary encounters Blade Runner, though. That would be awesome. All right, so what do we get in the box? We get a rule book, standard size for a legendary system, big text, pretty clear instructions. Um, let's see, it's about. 27 pages, depending on how they number it, 28 pages. Uh, you know, standard for Legendary if you ever played them. Um, both Legendary and Legendary Encounters. Um, so, I'm sure it'll be very clear and easy to understand, but we're not going to read it online. I mean, on camera. Uh, the awesome, as always, playmat. Mouse pad playmat. Much to say. Wow, this one's a little longer, I think, than I would call with Alien, but it may not be. So you get your episode deck, The Verse, which is where your uh, baddies come out, I assume, in combat zone where you fight them, uh, where they fight you, I guess. And this is new for me with the ship strikes, because the ship can be attacked or the people can be attacked. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. These these mats are great. They are the gold standard for card games, really. Put that aside. And then essentially you're gonna get a bunch of cards. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of cards. And it's like all the other ones in the Marvel system, the decks are gonna be pretty much the same with some repeats, like these both say talent on them. So this deck is probably gonna be an exact duplicate of that deck. This one is different. This one is different. And this one is different. So there's been a lot of complaint. You get, uh, you get these film spacers, which are very handy. You get dividers, uh, which are not so handy. Um, I'm sure someone on PGG has already reproduce the dividers from uh, Legendary Alien uh, uh, that are great. They totally separate the cards uh, perfectly. So let's take a look at these. I know there's been some complaints about the uh, the artwork on them, but from what I've personally seen of it, to me, it looks like 100% perfect for the system. So if you're if you're a fan of the show and you're a fan of realism, you may not like it. But some of the artwork for the alien cards was not a lot great either. It's kind of comic booky without being too hokey. Um, so some shiny cards. Those obviously mean something. You got misbehave cards. So must be your major starting deck. Yeah, because misbehave is it's got strikes on it. And this has got recruit points on it, so I bet this is what your starting hands are made out of. Uh, then you got these various brown coat cards, which I guess are like the sergeants in Alien. Uh, I got the different symbols. A lot of this is going to be 
pretty similar. Uh, the shepherd and flock, rest in peace, Ron Glass, who I know better from uh, Barney Miller than Firefly, but I know it was on Firefly. So uh, anyway, I think the cards look fine. I think, I mean, unless there's just something I'm just totally missing. Um, Sonora, Jane, Kaylee. The only thing I, you know, if I had to say, is there anything I don't like about them personally? Uh, it's not the art, it's the font they chose for the title of the card. It's, I, know, I guess it's the Firefly script, maybe, yeah, but uh, actually that's a little hard to read. A little scripty, I like them to be a little more clear, but uh, it's not unreadable, it's just not, uh, not the greatest, it's a little thin. So that's one that I probably complain about with Mal, but I think it looks fine. I think it's pretty clear who they are. Um, so anyway, not going to get an agreement from me on that, but, uh, you know, you may disagree, and that's totally fine, obviously. But uh, let's just a quick look at some of the cards here. I don't think they're all that bad. I think they're pretty good. And uh, I am looking forward to sorting these out, which is the fun part, as always. But once you do it, if you have the right dividers, set up, take down. Pretty seamless piece of cake, really. So, oh, there's your episode cards, bushwhacked. I can't even tell you what the episodes are. I wonder if they have uh, Serenity as an episode. Episode 5, episode 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14. I guess there's 14. So, anyway, so in the box, you obviously get five stacks of cards you get to sort through. Uh, Playmat, rule book, it's about all you need. And your imagination to play Legendary Encounters, a Firefly deck building game. I'm looking forward to this one. 